Depression is an illness that involves the mood, body and thoughts and it affects the way a patient sleeps, eats, feels about themselves to the point where they simply can't pull themselves out of it and without treatment they'll have recurring symptoms such as many of the ones listed on this slide. Depression could be caused by psychological factors, socio-cultural factors, i.e. environmental triggers, but this clip is focusing on biological factors. In terms of genetics, it's impossible to quantify the role of genetics in the development of depression, but there is a great deal of evidence that shows if there is one parent or indeed two parents, it increases the likelihood that a person will be diagnosed at some point in their life with depression. A popular biological explanation for the development of depression is low levels of serotonin. Serotonin being a inhibitory neurotransmitter like GABA as opposed to excitatory neurotransmitters such as dopamine or glutamate. And serotonin deficiencies have been linked to a variety of disorders, anorexia, social anxiety, mood disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder and so on. And low levels of noradrenaline have also been indicated to have a correlation with development of depression. But we'll focus on serotonin in this clip. There are a variety of antidepressants on the market, but for the Unit 4 course we need to know about SSRI, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. And it's important to note that when you go on these antidepressants, they generally take two weeks to take effect, and you tend to go on them in cycles. There are side, side effects in terms of development of anxiety, and it affects your sleep, it can result in weight gain and sexual dysfunction. And it's common to have withdrawal symptoms when you go off them. But let's address how they work. Quite simply, as the name implies, they block the reabsorption of the serotonin transmitter at the presynaptic neuron. So let me briefly discuss how SSRIs work. We have storage of serotonin in the vesicles of the presynaptic neuron and when an action potential is generated, this serotonin is released into the synapse. Now some of it will bind with the specialised receptor sites in the postsynaptic neuron and some of it won't. This serotonin that doesn't bind with those receptor sites will literally float back to the presynaptic neuron and go up the reuptake channel and be recycled. Now what SSRIs do is they block the reuptake channels. So that serotonin now has nowhere to go. It will then, or increases the likelihood, that it will bind with those receptor sites of the postsynaptic neuron so what we're doing is we're making the serotonin work more effectively and by having more serotonin bind with those specialised receptors of the postsynaptic neuron charged ions will enter the postsynaptic neuron meaning will have a sedating calming effect and thus enhancing mood.